Look at everyone. I have a Chic Sparrow unboxing today. This is one of the special leathers for the month of March. And I only got one and I don't plan to get the other two. There are three special leathers for the month of March. Uh, and I'll show you which one I got. So I did want to, I'm trying to smell. I After I opened this, I could smell a very chemically smell, just FYI. Um, and I'm smelling and whew, it's really strong. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily chemically. I don't know. It's pretty strong. So that's, that's not something I usually encounter when opening a Chic Sparrow. So we'll see what it's like when I open it up. So I'm going to go ahead and get my invoice out and get that out. And of course there's the warranty card, which comes with every product. Oops, sorry. Oh, and a cute little raccoon with a with a palette that's very cute and who yeah this is really strong okay so i got the diego which is the red version of uh the leather for march let me it's that it's very interesting because actually when i took it out of the packet and you can see some fingerprints here because it is a pretty um smooth slick leather um when I took it out of the package it does it doesn't seem I mean it seems super strong when I opened it but now but now that I smell it as is it doesn't smell as strong if that makes any sense at all all right I don't know let me smell the bag yeah the bag maybe the bag absorbs some of the smell I don't know but um so there are three leathers this uh, Diego being one, and it looks like there is the potential for some wrinkling on the spine where there's a little bit already. Um, that's fine with me. I, I like wrinkles and character. So I don't know. Yeah, you can actually see because it's coming off a little bit lighter on um, the screen than it is here in real life. So this is a little note that this is a little bit darker than it's coming off. So there's some sort of um, finish on here where it's like black over red, I think, with the stain. So that's how that goes. This is a B6 Slim, which is my usual EDC uh, size. So here's the inside. So the back is a little darker. Um, there's also a brown, just sort of a plain brown color all all of them have this additional um i think they're all black uh sort of staining over the top um so there's a brown and then there's a blue in addition to this the blue is actually really pretty um but blue leathers are not really my thing other than perhaps the mockingbird blue jay leather i really like that one but um but red is definitely more my thing which is why i decided to get this one and it definitely seems to be very sensitive to fingerprints because i'm seeing a lot of those on here um, and this is a veggie tanned leather meaning that um it will patina over time if it's exposed to light uh, but supposedly it also lasts longer than uh chrome tanned leather uh, which does not fade in sunlight so oh, and i'm noticing a little like a little nick on the side here. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but it's very pretty. I, you know, I have the same reaction to this leather as I've had to like the Americano leather. Anything that's sort of dark and shiny, I feel like it's almost too, I was going to say too mature, too, too um, formal looking for my tastes, perhaps. Um, so I don't know. I'll, I'll keep this around for a little while, see how I like it and um go from there but it is a really beautiful red color and i really really love red notebooks yeah it doesn't smell as strong as when i first open the the bag which is very interesting so this does seem to be a fairly sensitive leather because you can see the mark here from where the string was around and i i think i moisturized my hands this morning so you are getting some lotion or whatever but it's very nicely finished around the edges um very smooth around the edges 
So, uh, like I said, this is dog fur now. <laughs> so this is a special leather for the month of March, along with the other two colors. Of, they're all the same leather, and they all have the same um, sort of black splotchy finish. Splotchy seems like kind of a bad word. It 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 it's a modeling of of black. I don't know how else to explain it, but it's obviously very shiny. But all of the three colors of leather have that treatment on them, and. Um, they will, as far as I know, they will be available as long as they, they have the leather. So um, even beyond March, they may still be available. But if you're interested in one, you know, sooner rather than later, because it is a special edition. So that's, I think, all I had to share with you today. I got this and, and I figured I would show it because I have not seen a lot of... Um, a lot of YouTube channels showing these leathers yet. So I thought I would give it a go and show you those, or at least this one. All right. Well, that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos. <laughs> I'm pushing it over here so it's not, you don't have that big spotlight over the top. Um, feel free to subscribe so you can keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.